Hello everyone. Thank you for watching Edupedia World videos. In this video, we learn about the troubleshooting issues which we find in SAP workflow. So this is the part 5 video of SAP workflow. Okay. So the steps to quickly analyze client workflow problems. Now that you have a better understanding of how to use workflow diagnosis transactions you can follow the below steps quickly to analyze client workflow problems so the video 3 part 3 and part 4 we have discussed about various transactions related to monitoring and administration of a workflow so in this video so we learn about the troubleshooting part because now we are familiar with the different transactions okay so we'll go to the troubleshooting part now go to transaction SWU3 and check if everything is okay if not fix it before you proceed just in the last video we have discussed about SWU3 okay it's automatic workflow customizing decode which has all the important settings related to the workflow customization and this is done immediately after the go live before workflows run in the system okay so the first step is go to SWU3 and check if everything is good or not okay if you find any setting around there please go and correct it now go to transactions well and check if an event is created enter the correct dates if not check if the event log is activated be sure to deactivate event log when you are done with your analysis in production now the next step is swell and swells the event log and the activation and deactivation of event log so you activate if it's a production system if you are doing the sort of analysis in the production system you activate it from swells okay then go to swell the event log and you check if the event is created or not okay and once you are done with your analysis please switch off the event log if you see an event but no workflow is triggered proceed with step 3 okay so yes event has occurred but the workflow is not created go to step 3 that's the next step if you see an event and the workflow is triggered but the status of the triggering shows an error proceed with step 3 again so the event is created of course the workflow is also triggered right but the status of this triggering is an error then also go to step 3 now if you see an event and the workflow is triggered and there is no error proceed with step 4 event is there workflows triggered but the status of triggered is successful then go to step 4 now if the event log is activated and you do not get any event contact the workflow consultant if during support period for the workflow consultant okay so the event log is there okay you see the event log and the event itself is not there then you have to contact the workflow developer okay now or create a custom message for sap using the component of the application to which the business object type belongs or you can raise a message to sap okay depending upon the business object okay so under that component you create a message you open a message with sap now what is the step three go to transaction swu0 and simulate the event we have read in the last all these transactions well swells SWU3 okay so we have discussed in the part 4 video okay so part 3 also we have learned some workflow related transactions and part 4 we have discussed these transactions like SWU3 swells wells okay so this one also SWU0 now the event is created in the first place so you simulate the event is the workflow that you expected to be triggered visible in the simulation successfully started section okay so now you check the workflow is triggered or not from the event if not check the workflow definition in pftc underscore this 
click the triggering event tabs okay you validate that the event is defined it must be defined or validate that the event is event linkage active it must be activated okay so you have to check whether the workflow is you simulate the event now the event is getting created in the first place good so you simulate the event okay so if the event is there but workflow is not triggered or workflow is triggered with status error then you go to step three okay you simulate the event okay then you check the workflow deflation in this pfdc and support this okay so you see if the event is defined you validate and the event linkage also should be there now the event is there and even the workflow is triggered okay then we go to step four so you check in swi1 search for the work item that belongs to the workflow check the status of the work item so if the workflow is also triggered from the event you directly go to swi1 this transaction also we have seen in part 4 video okay so part 4 video has we have uh, discussed about all the transactions which are going through now okay so this swi1 you check the the work item okay whether it has error or not if it shows error look at the workflow log do you see any errors if yes and you are unable to find the solution you can contact the workflow consultant or you can check SAP versus if you do not find any help in versus please open a message with the component okay this bc vmt wfm and tell SAP the number of the error or, or message and name of the workflow okay so you can check with your workflow developer okay so if they are unable to fix it in any way then you can check for some OSS notes or you can trace a message okay so first thing what we check check SWU3 if all settings are good next you activate the event trace using swells and you check the event log swell and you switch off the event trace again using swells okay event is there workflow is triggered or not triggered workflow is triggered with status error or it's not triggered then you simulate the event SWU0 okay now event is successfully created even the workflow is successfully triggered so if we have the workflow successfully triggered we will have at least one work item under it right so in that case you go and check in SWI1 the work item you check the log if it has error okay if you find any technical errors first we have to approach your workflow consultant your workflow developers okay so they will check related to the other settings okay like the workflow definition or whatever it is if they are unable to fix it you can search for oss nodes okay or you can open a corporate uh, message with sap under the respective component okay so these are nothing but the steps to quickly analyze client workflow problems okay so this is a short video just listing the troubleshooting part of workflow okay so we have other transactions like swi2 underscore diag which we have discussed earlier okay so there you can find the errored workflows okay but here what i am you know talking about is workflows if it's triggered or not okay starting from the basic event should be created workflow will come from that okay so if the event itself is created or okay if it's not created and if the workflow is successfully resulting from the event or not okay so so that should sort of basic troubleshooting i'm discussing here okay in daily monitoring of workflows you can just go to swi2 underscore diag and you can find the errored workflows okay and you can fix them in appropriate ways okay so those workflows are already created but they fail due to some errors in at some point of time okay but this video talks 
from the beginning like event creation of the event and how the workflow results from that okay if it's failed to result from an event how to fix it okay so it's an in-depth troubleshooting okay so hope this video gives you some idea to find out like the client workflow problems okay so keep on watching the other videos as well thank you